The last three years of Louis Broadcasting has honored local veterans and their families every Thursday night. Tonight, in Remembering Our Veterans, the story of how one local family had five brothers serving during World War II. Where did you go to high school? I went to Cambridge Springs. Mindy Newber has been an elementary teacher in the Northwestern School District for 17 years. Her grandfather and four of his brothers all served in World War II. It's an honor, you know, to carry the Stiborski name, to have so many people that have fought for our country. I'm very proud. But just the importance and the significance of it, I didn't realize until I started to get older and really starting to do some research into the family and how amazing, truly, it is an experience to read upon all this. And her grandfather's story has inspired her to take a military message to the classroom on Veterans Day. Each year I do a presentation here for the Northwestern community. We invite our veterans in, mm -hmm. um, we serve them a breakfast, and then we do a little program. And I do a speech, and I always get choked up <laughs> um, going through it just because everything that they went through. Um, my grandfather being up there in a B-24 Liberator can get to negative 50 sometimes up there and just the cramped confined conditions and lack of food lack of warmth lack of clothing how awful it must have been but how brave mm -hmm. truly were brave individuals and then there is the story of her great uncle leo nothing could deter his mission great uncle leo um i did not know him um but he was a bombardier navigator and of course then he was responsible for dropping some of the bombs over germany um, but one particular mission that he did when upon my research um, that I found that his plane was shot up. So they had to ditch their plane over the Adriatic Sea. And there was word, um, word has it through the research that I found that he was rescued by an Italian fisherman who was a partisan at that time. So my great uncle Leo received injuries to his neck, his head and his knees and his back and he was temporarily paralyzed, and he was actually reported missing for five days. What a story, and to the entire Stiborski family, thank you for your service, we'll be right back.